my name is Nate Sikander. This is my good buddy, Albano. And today we're going to talk about how you can recognize revenue faster with Foxit for Revenue Cloud. So our mission at Foxit has been very clear. We want to develop and deliver innovative solutions that allow our customers to do more with documents. That is a mission that we hold true and we are tenacious and sincere in, in accomplishing that. But that presents a lot of challenges in today's ever evolving world. You have legacy technologies that are being ousted by new innovative platforms that are bringing return on investments that CFOs fully approve. And when you look at the generational workforce today, it's spread across at the most age out of any workforce in history, which creates its own conflicts. But where we see conflict, where others see conflict, we see opportunity. And the one thing, regardless of your technology stack, regardless of your demographic, the one thing that we all have in common, we just want our stuff to work. And so we interviewed Salesforce customers and users around the world. We interviewed internal teams, uh, our sales team. We interviewed outside across the globe, across various industries. They all had the same problems. They were identical. So first, data entry and validation, right? Having to generate a new quote or a new contract based on maybe a misspelling or maybe there's a new PO number. Having to go back and forth between the opportunity record to, to back to, to creating a contract or a quote. And then, you know, outdated price books not dynamically updating on your quotes. Contract view, which is going to be the main focus of what we're going to talk about today, is such a pain, right? All of you, regardless of your function, have experienced all of these symptoms, right? Hundreds of emails to go through and get, get a, an agreement redlined and completed. 20 plus meetings and phone calls, the disjointed workflow of working an opportunity in Salesforce and then going into another application just to go back into Salesforce and repeat and repeat. And then additionally, having to constantly search for the latest approved agreements, right? And then that accounts to a total delay of up to 10 days on an average sales cycle of eight to 10 months. That is revenue recognition that we are missing out on. And then finally, once we've done all of those things, now we got to sign that document, right? So signing authority roulette, right? I could be driving a sales process with the vendor and someone else on my side has to actually sign. So you don't actually know who these, these players are. And then not being able to sign in real time. If we've just finished a red line session and we're all, we're all in agreement, why can't we just sign right then and there? And then the unknown status, the purgatory of once a document is sent for signature, where does it go? So we took all of those and we are excited to show you guys the future of Foxit for Revenue Cloud. So our current app in the App Store today really highlights the first, uh, the first component of doing validation and, and quotes generation. The final piece of that is our eSign capabilities where you're able to turn a quote into an executable document immediately within your workflows. But today, that middle piece is really where we're going to focus on. And we've broke down this complicated sales process into three distinct phases, validate, negotiate, and execute. In the validation stage, we're doing what we do today, right? We're working on a live document from the start. We're syncing the data within that document to the Salesforce object. No more going back and forth. Now in the negotiation stage, we are doing real-time document collaboration seamlessly integrated into your Salesforce revenue cloud. No going back to other systems, everything natively inside your Salesforce experience. And then from there, you can actually invite prospects and collaborators to work on you with that document. They don't even need to be inside your organization or even a Salesforce user. You can invite external prospects and collaborators to work inside that document seamlessly. And then obviously document review, tracking, comments, red lines, typical experiences that you, you, you go through doing the redlining process of a document. And then comprehensive document audit trail. All of this, all the day changes you make to the document, fully reportable, fully available within that audit trail. And finally, the execution phase signature document storage. So jump directly from collaboration into a live signing session. And those signatures are legally binding and they're fully compliant. And then again, a comprehensive audit trail with that envelope. Who did I send it to? Did they open it? Did they receive it? Did they forward it to someone else for signature? 
all of these things are available to you inside a revenue cloud, and it gives you additional data points to be able to facilitate recognizing your revenue faster. And then finally, after a document's executed, update your Salesforce record and you've turned that prospect into a customer. And I'm always gonna take you through a live demo of our new our new product. So we're gonna start from Salesforce contracts, which is your your you know where everything really starts. We have a list of view of contracts here. And I'm going to create a new contract from scratch. I want to show that process from, from end to end. And the great part is, as it's loading up, is that you can actually use your contracts, your uh, your templates that have been pre-approved, or you can upload one and start from scratch. Yeah, basic contract. I'm just going to save this. Fox a contract document where we can create a contract document. I'm just going to pop into that. Now, uh, going back to what Nick said, the first step on this is validation, right? We made sure that our app, is completely compliant with any template that you add to Salesforce, any Omni Studio, that data mappers or any validation watch that you have is going to be fully supported by the app. So obviously, if you have a customer who's working offline, you can also import a contract from your local and work on that. We're going to go through the template route here to showcase uh, the validation step. I'll, I'll choose an SLA. We're going to work as a, as a sales executive here and choose a service level agreement. But as you can see, we have the SLA loaded here as the template shows. All the merge fields that existed in that file are here as well. So anything that you added as a merge field tag is going to pass along to the PDF. So if you're using Revenue Cloud, so I think the first step in the process is actually to do an internal review. So that's uh, myself working with my manager. So I'm going to do now is I'm going to share this. Um, I'm going to share this document with my team on Slack. The two ways to share, you can share it to people who are in your org. I'll just make here on this. And I will also copy this link. And I will send that in Slack to my team. So they're able to join the session. I'm going to start to show a little bit how the red line works. So we have red lining capabilities. There's a few things, like I said, in this SLA that I have to add towards this card trick. So what I can do here is I can select and highlight a part of the text and I can do an edit. I'm going to replace this with a 98% because I'm a very uh, demanding employee. It's very demanding employee who cannot type very well in public. You can also, once you, once you consolidate that, uh, you have the text suggestion, you can close this and pop back to this red line anytime you want and see the text here. You can edit this again. You can delete this annotation and you can also approve this annotation right here on the spot, which I'm going to do now to show. So now as he's making that uh, red line approval in Ronan's document, he is going to see that change show up on his screen in real time. Yeah. So you can see that we can change the text on the spot. The document reflows normally, even though it's a, it's a PDF. We're, we're working with a high quality process in here in which we're working hard to make sure that the PDF reflows well. Yep, we're leveraging Fox's extensive knowledge of PDF technologies and giving a comprehensive reflow capabilities in this document. Yeah. So we have two types of annotations uh, for the red lines. We have a, a, a replace and a delete, but I want to keep going uh, for, the, for time. Uh, basically, we both can work in this document, like I said, and add red lines. Ronan can add a comment to the thread here. And once my manager tells me that this is good to go, as here, we have an inside thread inside the document as well. So I'm going to go ahead and check in this document. Check in is what consolidates the document uh, to use for approval or for other uh, workflows. Once we check in the document that is consolidated, you see there's a signature button that immediately appears, not in Salesforce, but directly in the viewer. That means that you have full control of that as well as part of your workflows, because that's only going to show up once you check in the document. So it's completely uh, connected and synchronized with the, the workflow inside our land. So, and as we talked about, one of our key pain points was the ability to, when red lines are complete, to execute the document at that moment. Now we're bringing that to you available inside of Salesforce. We haven't left Salesforce. So all of that is contained inside your revenue cloud. I'm going to submit this for approval just uh, to showcase that. We're going to go, um, I'm going to do a self-approval real quick here. We don't have time to uh, in this case, obviously, that's the other good thing to say is that we support all the roles and permissions that you have in Salesforce. So in that case, only my manager will be able to approve that that contract in this case. So I'm going to just approve this real quick. Pop back to the document. We're in negotiating stage now. And as you can see, we update. Some of the buttons were updated now that we submitted this for approval. You can't really check in and check out the document deck anymore in that same way. The second phase of you have internal review and the second stage is your external review, right? Which is where you can send that the document for collaboration for your prospects and customers outside of search. Okay. So I, I wanted to, to reload so you can see that initiated external review button is up there now. So we can do that process. That's going to create a new version of that document. 
we can check out that for external review. Once we check, once we check out that document, <clears throat> you're going to see there's a version update to version two. And also we'll reset everything that is on that document now, um, to make sure that we're working with a fresh document that we have redlined to send out to a prospect, right? Then, then we'll go through external review and that will enable us to have the document completely ready for signature, which is the next step. So from here, we've worked in this document, we've collaborated together. I sent it out to my team. You can have uh, authenticated users and, and uh, uh, guest users. I just wanted as a final thing to show the signature button working, that we can jump directly into a signature for that. And I'll give Nick a hot 10 seconds to, to finish. Once I click on that button, everything is ready to be, uh, to be sent. Uh, this is going to take us to, uh, to a, an e-sign session, which we have functionality currently today in our e-sign application. Gentlemen, if you could switch over to the other presentation. So in conclusion, the key takeaways uh, we really want to highlight are with, with Foxit for Revenue Cloud, we can validate your data seamlessly from quotes uh, from the Salesforce objects. You can collaborate in real time natively in Salesforce without the need for additional software. You can engage in live or digital signing sessions with the comprehensive audit trail, and you can recognize revenue faster. So come see us at booth 1324 and learn more. And we thank you so much for your time. Everyone have a great day.